guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server and we are looking at day three of the Prosperous Quest. So as we continue through our Merchants Adventure, um, we should be able to unlock a third section of this puzzle, which I believe is right over here, opens in 21, maybe it is up here, our right to the north. There it is guys, Magical Vines. We'll go ahead and move these. So that we're moving into, again, our third section. Make sure you pick up your daily um, news. Actually giving us some pretty decent resources out of here, which I like to see. And if you look, Ancient Awe-Spawning Fossilized Dragon, that is in the first place. Rumor of Match Rigged at the Sunset Hall. I think that's probably what we're going to get into next is going to be this, um, this rigged match. Now in here, guys, again, the fights seem a, a little more difficult, but if you do lose, doesn't make a difference. All of your heroes do come back. So just sitting through here doing the fights, pretty easy to get through, um, knowing that you don't have to worry about the heroes. Now, most of the voyages, if you do die in a voyage, of course, you have to reset the entire thing. That is not the case here. So you, you can actually come through here relatively easy. All right, so it looks like we have a couple more chests down here. Looks like we also have a lot of relics. Now, of course, guys, trying to score higher on the boss fight. I, I was trying it a couple times um, actually today. Scoring high on the boss fight seems pretty difficult. Again, if you don't have the heroes really built up, um, similar to the Twisted Realm, the Cursed Realm, things of that nature, it seems like we need to build them up quite a bit, that, that we need to have specific heroes in there. And then, of course, having the specific relics as well um, makes a big difference. I also noticed that there's a couple relics in there that deal with HP and things of that nature. It seems like the boss is just straight up damage. Best team that I found in here was of course running um, Scarlet with Saurus. The, those were the two, the combination that I found actually the best with three buffers in the back to really maximize the damage we have in there. All right guys, so let's see going through here. We'll pick up some more relics. Make sure we pick all these up just like we've seen in the past. Looks like we have two chests up there. And of course guys, we're fighting Wukong um, Wukong, impressed with the skin. I, I like the skin that Wukong has. Um, overall, though, no one's going to use him. So, so he is unfortunately still going to be um, a hero that no one is utilizing within AFK Arena, um, which again kind of stinks. But so we got a couple more chests. We got a couple right there. All right, so let's start moving over this way. It looks like this is going to be our town up here, guys. There we go. So very important person. Now we have Nemora. Are you traveling through the mountains? I think my grandfather is stuck. Thank you so much. Money is no object. There we go, guys. There, it looks like there is the grandfather, maybe? That sets up our stall. There we go. Congratulations. You unlocked another trading node, which means there is the snowy peaks. So, guys, one thing you have to make, pay attention, and I'm going to go over right now, um, is when you look through here, we'll pass you through one city consuming one ticket. Now you get 20 tickets a day. You can see we have 34 right here. So if I go from Harmony City to Springs, it is gonna take two tickets. If I go from Snowy Peaks to Springtown, I believe it is going to take three tickets for the full journey. So guys, that is where it's going to come into effect with what you can buy in which city. Um, making sure that you are fully stocked up on the cart, but then looking through the price trends or looking at the other cities at exactly what you have. So right here we have Silk, and then we do have the, the Satchet or the Satchel. Um, so looking at both of these guys, there's a couple places when you look that these are gonna be expensive. So 69 and third, or 69 right there and 111. Looking at this one, this is kind of the trading aspect, 12 and 78. So I am going to get more money in Springtown than I will anywhere else. Currently, 11 and 69. So if I go one town, I can actually sell it for the, the same amount, 111 and 69. If I go to Springtown, Springtown is going to actually allow me to sell those two items for a little bit more. Now, the caveat to that, guys, is it's going to take two tickets. So, so that's really the big thing um, is it is going to take me two tickets to get to this town. So is it going to be more beneficial to sell it in Lyra or sell it in the Snowy Peaks versus moving all the way to Springtown to get to that city? Um, 
that, that is kind of the game. That, that is the, the exchange game. So even here, knowing our bags are fully packed, let's go up and we need to unlock more of these. But you can see guys, we have a full bag to sell here. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell them all. And then looking at our wealth, we're already up to 46,000 coins. And then I can buy these. Now, again, both of these are available. You have to see what you're going to have to um, actually pay for them or what they're going to be sold as. 34.25. So we had 34.25 there. Here's 39.28. So a little bit more. And then here is what? 43.31. So it seems the further that you travel, um, the more you're going to get for these. Guys, so again, 43 right there. Looking at this one is 39. So it is, guys, the, the further away that you go from where the object is listed um, is going to give you more money. It is going to give you more of your silver coins. Overall, guys, um, a lot of players were saying the badges in here are really cool, but I don't believe it's badges. I thought when I looked at the rich list, I thought it was... It's a metal, that's what I thought, or they thought it was an avatar frame. It is not a frame, guys, you can see. Um, the metal reward, so even getting the metal rewards, current metals expire 62 days after the results. So you're only gonna have this metal for a very short amount of time. So the focus you really wanna look at, not so much the leaderboards, guys, but you wanna make sure that you're getting all of these out of here, because getting those is, of course, gonna give you resources and also give you the Wukong skin when the badge or the medal is only going to last 62 days in there, guys. So that's going to be pretty short-lived. So let's see. So this is the way we originally came. This looks like it's going to be in the next section, but we still have a couple other places to clear out in here to open up the rest of this zone. And again, you want to make sure you're going through this, guys, because you're getting the treasure chest out of here. Um, you want to make sure that you're doing the exchange for the tokens or for the... um for the coins because if you're not doing the coins you're not going to be able to get enough points to actually do or, or get that wukong skin which again the skin is not the big priority guys i am looking more into the resources that we have out of the place versus getting the skin so that camp it looks like we could defeat either one there we go but i don't see anything else out here trying to see where we're supposed to go Maybe that, that's pretty much it for now, guys. I think that is about it. We got everything up there. Even looking at the menu, um, one right here, of course, we're getting the skin. We're 12 of 27. So day three, guys, setting up the stall. Again, pay attention to the trading. That, that, that's the big thing I can say. So even being at the Snowy Peaks, guys, hopping in here, buying whatever you can with the bag space you have. It's gonna be a game changer when we get more. You could this this could be expanded your cart storage from stores in Harmony City and the Foundry. Now Harmony City we already have unlocked. I'm not sure if we missed something in there. Because here is Harmony City. So if we actually come down here, guys, you can see we can now is the is the bag slots the bags? Is this Rowan's back, increase your, I thought about that just when I see it, guys. This has to be your priority. Look at that, the bag slot. Absolutely, guys. Um, we have to think this through because that's very, very expensive. But if we add all of our compartments, but we still have to have enough tokens to buy everything, guys. So now we can carry a lot more. That is what you want, guys. The, the most important, the bag, the product. Um, increasing the storage. I, I was trying to figure out where that was at, guys, so we can get four more, and then it looks like the final place is gonna be the final four. But now looking at our money is, you wanna go full backpack. That is really a focus in here. Um, trying to make sure, again, that you have an entire full backpack when you travel. You don't wanna make sure any of these slots, if that even means buying you know, one of the expensive item, buying a couple of the cheaper items, Again, just to have an entire full backpack is what you want to do. Even looking here, guys, we can buy what? Well, we only got two of these left because I just bought them. Two of those, and then we'll buy everything we can here. Of course, because what we want to do is actually 
sell out these products or, or remove all of these products. Um, even here, I wonder, going to like Springtown, I know it's gonna cost me three, but again, going here, I'm gonna get the most for these. So I can sell all of these out, making 40,000 silver coins right there. And then of course I can buy a couple of these, but again, well, we get all of those. There's, there's a lot of strategy to this, guys. It is very, very cool. But again, um, 685. So we are literally right there on where we want to. Because then we can go to Lira. Uh, we can just sell all of these out. Boom, making 52 coins right there. That'll give us the ability to buy, what, 10 of these? Actually buying more of the expensive items. It seems like if you're picking up the expensive items, um, you want to travel to the furthest point you can if you're buying all the expensive items. For instance, with the Snowy Peaks, um, I'm going to go here because I'm going to make the most on these potions by selling these out. 24,000, so that brings me to 57. Purchase all these. See, that leaves me too empty. So I could actually go to Harmony City, pick up some more of the very expensive items because I have room. So 330 is my bonus there. Move to Springtown. Now it goes to 990 versus the 330. Again, th there's going to be a lot of different ways to do this, guys, um, to try to maximize the silver tokens that you're getting out of here even literally going back and forth. So we know Snowy Peaks is already sold out um, of everything that I have. So there's no reason to go to Snowy Peaks. Now we could just start going to Harmony City and doing the exact same. So I'm going to get a little bit more money for these in Harmony City. And then I can buy some of these heavy expensive items and just carry these guys again. Springtown is almost sold out. Now we have 21 left. We'll go back to Springtown, do the exact same. So we'll sell all these out. Gives us 67 there. I'm going to do the same, guys. I'm going to go to Libra. I'm going to do the exact same. We're going to sell all these out. Again, we're not traveling as far. We're not making as much money, but we can actually go through and start really, really burning these through, guys. Selling a lot of these out. I mean, still 12 items, you're making 40 each. We're at 87,000. By 20,000. That is steep, guys. That is a steep price. What if it counts against our coins, though? I'm just wondering for the... um. For the actual, it might be better to, to buy all those out. Yeah, earn the coins. So even though we're spending the coins, this is literally the event is earn the coins. Um, so even though we, we built those out. It's going to be good to get the slots early. But again, you're going to have to figure out what's going to work with what you actually have here. It's just like we did in the front, guys, we have a lot more. So the exponential earning in here seems um, seems like it's going to be pretty high. Even here, I have more than enough room, so we can sell these out. Also thinking where you want to park. So where you're actually going to sit rowing at the end of the day is going to be another one, guys. It's going to be another big one. So here, I don't think it's going to be worth it. I'm going to save the rest of my tickets. I'm going to buy my food. Go, so we'll stock up in food. Um, I'm going to go to Snowy Peaks, and this is where I'm actually going to park him for the night. Even though I don't have anything in here to buy, at the refresh, I'm going to be able to pick up everything in here um, with the tokens I have, which will work, because I'll be able to get 10 of those. I'll be able to get, I'll have enough, to get out of those guys, and we have our more bag space. Very, very cool, guys. All right, so that'll do it for day three. Grower of Wealth, we are getting there, guys, with our coins. We're getting some Stargazer cards. So very, very cool to see. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.